the Buddha once very famously said. I'm going to share with you a story here. One day a man approached the Buddha and said, Sir, is it better to be alone on the spiritual path, you know, meditate alone, or is it better to do it with friends? And the Buddha turned to him and said, Friend, it's better to walk alone than to walk with a fool. That's how it is, ladies and gentlemen. I'm completely alone. Not because all of you are fools, but because I need to enjoy my own company. And I enjoy my own company. And if I choose to interact with someone that is not with a similar goal than I have, I'm just slowing myself down. I'm wasting my own time, which I can to do. Also, yes, most people on this earth are very foolish. They're foolish. Uh, which is to say that they don't listen to wise men, they don't practice morality, they don't practice meditation, and they don't acquire wisdom. That's what I would define as a fool. Most people, unfortunately, feed, feast on their bodies of you know, other animals, which is the biggest source of problems that I see. You can't be a spiritual being and eat meat at the same time. Some will say simultaneously. That doesn't work. So it's better to walk alone than to walk with a fool. If you have foolish friends, ladies and gentlemen, you know, there's a common expression. You are like the five friends that you meet or spend time with the most. Yeah, that's kind of true. <clears throat> if you have foolish friends, if you spend time around fools, uh, most likely you're somewhat similar to them. And it's time to get new friends or spend time on your own by yourself. That's actually the wisest thing that you can do and you should do. You should spend time by yourself. I'm going to here give you permission that it's okay to be a loner, okay, in quotes. It's okay to be by yourself. In fact, if you're by yourself and you feel good, then you're in good company. Yet if you feel, if you're by yourself and you feel bad, obviously you're in some bad company. I'm just watching a spider sit on top of my camera. He's just dancing around. He's making circles. You can't see it, but I can. You know, spiders oftentimes considered as a protective spirit or a protective animal. Whenever you see a spider, you should feel protected. That beings that are uh, of a higher nature than you, you know, higher dimensional beings are taking care of you and protecting you. This is the sign that I'm getting here. So it's, I'm, I, I, um, I should feel confident and comfortable with the things that I share with you here today. You know, in the beginning of this video, I felt a little bit uncomfortable saying the things I'm saying. Because obviously, I don't want to call you a fool. Well, coming back to this topic. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, it's better to walk alone than to walk with a fool. You know, if you spend time around people that are maybe not to your best interest, they will always, virtually always, try to convince you to do things that they think that you should do. Meaning that if you're around friends that drink a lot of alcohol, they're gonna persuade you, hey, come on, just be like one of us. Don't, don't try to not be sober. Because if you are going to become sober, truly sober, then they are going to have to subtly change themselves and become somewhat sober. They won't be able to go into that kind of degradation of themselves uh, with having you around. So it's either or. Either you're going to take them up to the light or they're going to drag you down to the dark de uh, depth. There cannot be anything in between. Yet if you have friends and you change and then you convince your other friends to change, you know, for the, po for the positive, for the better, or you show a shining example and they inevitably change, that's good. So you should spend time around friends or people. Yet uh, I knew this was a hindrance from an early age. Well, when I say early age, maybe in my 20s, mid 20s, I realized that I shouldn't go out. I shouldn't go meet friends. It's yeah, there was like a kind of a craving for me to do that. I was craving to go and spend time with them and talk to them because that's just naturally habituated. Yet I realized that if I just don't do that, if I just let go of them and sit by myself in my own room, you know, watch TV or watch something else or or do whatever I need to do, meditate or create something it would have been far better off for my mental health and also for my sanity. Because the time spent for me to get out of bed and get ready and 
and per, uh, make myself presentable and go all the way to wherever these people are uh, just for the sake of socializing. Well, what is socializing? Well, I'm socializing right now, I'm talking to the camera. Uh, what's the difference between me talking to the camera and me talking to another human being? Virtually, there's no difference. Well, I know, I'm sure you're gonna think, you're gonna say yes, there's a huge difference. Uh, yes, there is, because I can't uh, hear your uh, rebuttals or your feedback, and you can from a person, yet I can feel all of you, okay? I can feel all of you. Now, if I was uh, around some fools and I said this, and I'm sure people are gonna comment, some of them are gonna say, what? What is this guy talking about? Is he uh, on drugs? That's the common thing that people ask me. I can feel all of you because I'm whatever I'm saying, I can feel the consciousness of the individuals that are going to watch me in the future, and I can see how they react, you know? Not to say that I can see the facial expression, no, it's just the energy, I can see the energy. What's, what's uh, how I'm presenting and how the individuals are receiving it. So if I say something so outrageous, I'm sure some of you are gonna be like, huh, what? And so I have to clarify that, that's what I mean. And these types of skills that I have, that I've acquired, don't just come randomly, oh, poof. Okay, I've worked upon this, I shouldn't say I worked upon this. I desire this. I put my mind's attention and focus on this. And I'm continuing to acquire these types of skills. And I know you all want them. That's why you're watching me. That's one of the reasons. That's why you choose to watch me. That's why you choose to watch me. So I'm here to share with you how to do that. I'm here to share with you how to acquire these psychic skills. And one way of doing it, ladies and gentlemen, is to put your focus on the right matters, such as actually what I'm sharing with you. You're putting your focus and attention on the right matter by looking at me, okay? Now, not to sound boastful or to brag about myself, yet I am bragging and, bo and, and boasting, whatever. There's nothing wrong with that, that's perfectly fine. And I'm saying the truth, okay? I'm not here boasting my ego here. I have no ego. So you watching me is a step in the right direction, and I'm here also to share with you that you should put your mind's focus and attention towards these things, meaning liberation. Enlightenment, Nirvana, psychic powers, intuition, clarity of mind, clarity of vision, clairvoyance, clairsentience, clair whatever else that there is. Purification of the mind.